Hi YouTube, it's Ben from the photography team. Today I'm going to review and have a quick look at the Peak Design Capture version 3. They've had a, obviously a couple before going by the version number. I've not used them, can't comment on them, so this is just my little look at version 3. And as you may have seen from the review on the 5 litre sling, I'm fairly new to Peak Design uh, and really loving what they're actually putting out and how practical it is. Um, so this is the um, version 3 Capture Pro, uh, Capture uh, clip and this is an all metal design. Um, we've got a couple of spinny um, quick release bolts here that are designed for a quick release so you can use this on multiple uh, things so if you're going from having it on a bag um, or having it on a belt or um, having it on a rucksack strap or something like that you can quickly take this on and off now they do give you some bolts uh, which is an allen key head so if you're going to constantly have it so you say you're going hiking for a week and that's where it's going to be on a strap on a rucksack you can have it constantly bolted on and you've got no problems with you know knocking these or anything now i've just used these and they seem really good to me um and i'm not overly worried about uh, changing that now if you don't know how these work and you're not seeing them um, you've got a plate that goes on the bottom of the camera. I've got it on the X100F at the moment. And that then slides into this section here. And you've got a little release button on the side there. Um, and then you slide it back off again. Now this uh, release button does twist and it locks. So you've got no problems with this not uh, locking and the camera falling off because this gets hit or anything like that. So that's a good idea and a good feature. So the actual plate itself is tiny, I think. Um, it's really not that bad at all uh, on profile. Now, I like the X100F as it's tiny. I've got this case on, which does give it a bit more added grip, um, but that's because I've got the big hands and I don't like the um, my little finger disappearing. I have used this without it, and this is lovely because it is so small. Apologies, someone's uh, emailing me there. Um, the reason I've kept this on is because if I don't, this going on the normal um, tripod hole goes over the battery door. So I, I like to keep this on so I can still access the battery door. Um, but profile wise, it really is small and I, I really do like that. So that can clip on either way. It's a square design, so it goes on any which way you like and it's on there, it's good. You can press the button, it comes off. Again, that way it's on, it's good. Um, press the button, slides off. So what does that look like on one of the bags? Now, the reason I got this was to use it with the five litre sling and they provide this little area here to put the actual capture on. Now, what I tend to do is take the this one off the left here. They kind of say, take this side off so it can anchor around because this one's got, um, kind of bit missing where this one is all the way through so you've got like that clip style so i take this one all the way off spin it off onto the desk slide it through make sure i get all the bits i need and there's a rubberized backing on the uh the back piece um to allow a bit of grip slide that back over now i can actually adjust both of these now um, to make it fit nice and tight. So that now screws back up. I'm making this look probably more difficult than it is. Tighten them both up really nice and tight. That now is good to go. That is honestly, it's really quite tight. Um, and that's the sort of profile you've got. I went for the black version, they do a silver. Um, and I, I sort of quite like it matching up and uh, the sort of tones on everything. But um, when you then use it to fix a camera on, I don't think that's bad at all. And the idea for me now is to have this at weddings. I can sling this around the front, hit the button and go, I've now got the camera. When I finish with it, flip it back on. Away we go. So I really like it. Um, to use it for a main camera, I'm not too sure with. Um, the pros about it is how small the actual 
plate is on the bottom, it's tiny. And I really like that, it's it's low profile, especially for something like this. So if you're going street shooting or something like that, it, it kind of still stays within that small profile. Um, this again is small, it's, it's absolutely fine. Um, for me, uh, I think it's the practicalities of, of the button and, and you're kind of square on and yeah, I'm not completely convinced I'd use it as a sole thing. And the reason why is because I actually currently use the spider holster light um, and this just literally clips around and can clip onto your belt or it, you, it can come with the spider holster belt as well, which is then screwed in so it's not going anywhere. But the plate on the bottom, for this is a lot lot bigger you can probably see the size of that in comparison it's it's a lot lot bigger but they use this pin idea and the pin then slides in and out and it locks in or you can completely unlock it and it slides in and out consistently where that one doesn't so i'm going to do a full review comparing both of those um and show you what they're like sort of on the hip and things like that so this one is mainly about the version 3 and the plate really like it definitely going to use it with the X100F. Um, it's, it can be for a, a range of different cameras, all the specs are on the Peak Design website and it's going to also can go on the 15 inch messenger bag. Uh, there's a place, I think it's either side actually, that you can put the capture clip on. I really like that so if I'm just going out with this for whatever reason um, I can just have the X100F on the side there or perhaps I do want to use it on the X-T2 you know just whip it on and have the X-T2 there so that's lovely. I do actually have one of their field pouches and this section here is designed for the capture clip. Um, now to me it doesn't fit. If I quickly um, take it off the uh, sling bag um, it, this is now far too small. So that is where they say you can put the capture clip. It doesn't, you're gonna, you're gonna be squashing it. Yeah, you can do it. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna work, but the idea of it not squashing, to me, it doesn't, it doesn't look good. So you can use it, but it, it just, it's not, it's not as easy as it just going there, which also gives you, that idea, if you've got something quite thick, um, this isn't going to go around it, but how many times are you going to find a, cam a camera strap that thick? Even the Peak Design ones, it can quite nicely go around them as well. So, all in all, metal construction, really good, really sturdy. Love its small size, love the small profile of the, um, the plate for the bottom of the camera. Used it a couple of times, quick to use, um, well recommended. Gonna do a video comparing it to the Spider Holster and why we use these for the X-T2 when we're doing weddings um, and why we've gone to these and things like that. Um, also look out for the review on the uh, 15 inch messenger bag. Still gonna be doing that. And also a review coming up as to why I'm now running Windows and I've got rid of my Mac. Um, still utilizing a keyboard and mouse so um yeah the other thing quickly to add is um we've got our rope straps um we've now redesigned those to use the pig design anchors um and the the plastic part of the pig design system is then fed through the lever and onto the, the ropes on our straps so these can just clip and you've got a nice rope strap or with the peak design system because we absolutely love the versatility and the quick and easiness of using the uh, the anchors so i'm ben i've been from the photography team please visit our website thephotographyteam.co.uk we've got the blog there we've got our store um, follow us on all the social media to be great like comment subscribe to this and um, we look forward to chucking out some more videos for you soon thanks